Alright, so this general area is a brain stem. Then we have the caudate nucleus, the corona radiata, and the lentiform nucleus. Then the cerebellar hemisphere is left and right. Then for the cerebellar peduncles, we have the superior, middle, and inferior peduncles. The cortex is the gray matter around, surrounding the arbor vitae. Then the cerebral aqueduct is right in here. And the cerebral hemispheres, left and right. Then we have the cerebral peduncle, which is right here. Then the choroid plexuses are blood vessels that can be seen here. Then the cingulated gyrus is right here. Then the, uh, the corona radiata said was right here. And then the corpora quadrigemina. Here's the superior and inferior colliculi. So superior colliculi, inferior colliculi. Then we have the corpus callosum. Then the cranial nerves start here with the olfactory nerve, olfactory bulb, and olfactory tract. And the optic nerve, where they cross is the optic chiasma and the optic tract. Then we have the ocular motor nerve, then the trochlear nerve, right here, then the trigeminal nerve, then the abducens nerve, then the facial nerve, vestibular cochlear nerve, then the glossopharyngeal nerve, the vagus nerve, the spinal accessory nerve, and the hypoglossal nerve. Then the diencephalon is this general area with the epithalamus, thalamus, and hypothalamus. Then the fissures include the longitudinal fissure, and then the transverse fissure. Then the fornix is right here. The genucleate bodies here is the lateral genucleate body, and then below is the medial genucleate body. And somewhere in here is the precentral gyrus and the postcentral gyrus. <laughs> Then the hippocampus can be seen right here. And then the hypothalamus is below the thalamus. The lobes, frontal lobe, parietal lobes, temporal lobe, and then in the back is the occipital lobe. Then the medulla oblongata is right here, and the second bump. Then we have the pyramids, which is right here, and then the decussation of pyramids is where they cross. Then the olive is this pink structure right here. The midbrain is just this general area in the middle of the brain. Then the pineal gland is just this bulb right here, not the entire structure. The top is the epithalamus, and then just this bulb is the pineal gland. Then the pituitary gland is a right below the optic nerve right here, this little structure. Then we have the pons and the septum pellucidum. Then there would be a central sulcus in between, a lateral cerebral sulcus on the side, and then a parieto occipital <laughs> sulcus separating the parietal lobe from the occipital lobe. Then the thalamus is this structure, and then right in the middle is the intermediate mass of the thalamus. Then there are two lateral ventricles. Then there's the third ventricle. And then lastly, the fourth ventricle, which is right here.